In the genesis of the third panzer division on October 15, 1935, manpower was culled from the first and third cavalry division, alongside sundry military and constabulary units. The division central command found its footing in Berlin, the epicenter of Germany. Amidst a trio of tank divisions inaugurated during that epoch, the first and second panzer division stood as its counterparts. Germany, having previously repudiated the Treaty of Versailles, which prescribed the possession of tank forces, openly transgressed the accord. Stealthily, Germany cultivated tanks and conducted a clandestine tank academy in the Soviet Union. The tank regiment affiliated with this division actively engaged on the nationalist front in the Spanish Civil War as a constituent of the German Legion Condor. Furthermore, the division played a pivotal role in the annexation of Austria in March 1938, famously known as the Anschluss. Action during World War II The pivotal role of the 3rd Panzer Division unfolded prominently in the 1939 invasion of Poland, emerging as the most numerically robust Panzer Division boasting 391 tanks. Carving its path through the northern sector from Pomerania, it progressed from Turun to Brest-Litovsk. By May 1940, the division became an integral part of the German forces penetrating Belgium, traversing the Albert Canal to Brussels and infiltrating France. In conformity with the prevailing trend among German tank divisions, the 3rd Panzer Division underwent a restructuring in late 1940, sacrificing one of its two tank regiments to pave the way for additional tank divisions and, in turn, acquiring an infantry regiment instead. In the same year, the division was earmarked for deployment to Libya, North Africa, to support Italian endeavors. However, Hitler aborted the operation following the invasion of Greece on October 28, 1940. Consequently, the division was rerouted to Operation Felix, an initiative that, regrettably, never came to fruition. The 3rd Panzer Division played a pivotal role in Operation Barbarossa, the audacious invasion of the Soviet Union on June 22, 1941. Initially stationed in the central sector, it was later redirected southward to participate in the Battle of Kiev. Subsequently, it engaged in the Battle of Moscow, advancing towards Tula. Amidst the Soviet counterattacks in the winter of 1941-42, the division assumed the role of a standby emergency force and, come March 1942, contributed to the defense of Kharkov. As part of Case Blue, the German offensive launched in June 1942 in the southern sector of the Eastern Front. The division pressed forward toward the Caucasus. Despite an auspicious start, the operation culminated in failure, resulting in substantial casualties, particularly in the confrontations around Mozdok. Navigating a narrow escape from encirclement during its retreat, the division traversed the frozen expanse of the Sea of Azov near Rostov. Actively participating in the pivotal Battle of Kursk, the 3rd Panzer Division spearheaded an offensive west of Belgrade. In the aftermath of the German setback, the division became embroiled in subsequent defensive maneuvers and retreats. Remaining steadfast on the Eastern Front for the duration of the Second World War, it engaged in combat across Ukraine, Romania, Poland, and Hungary. As the war concluded, the division found itself in Styria where it outmaneuvered Soviet forces and opted for surrender to the U.S. Army. The majority of the division's soldiers were liberated from captivity by July 1945. Commanders General Major Ernst Fessmann, the 15th of October, 1935 to the 30th of September, 1937. General Lieutenant Leo Geyer von Schweppenberg, the 1st of October, 1937 to the 7th of October, 1939. General Lieutenant Horst Stumpf, the 7th of October, 1939, September 1940. General Lieutenant Friedrich Kuhn, September 1940, the 4th of October, 1940. General Lieutenant Horst Stumpf, the 4th of October, 1940 to the 13th of November, 1940. General Lieutenant Walter Model, the 13th of November, 1940 to the 1st of October, 1941. General Lieutenant Hermann Braith, the 1st of October, 1941 to the 1st of October, 1942. General Lieutenant Franz Westhoven, the 1st of October, 1942 to the 25th of October, 1943. 
General Lieutenant Fritz Bayerlein, the 25th of October, 1943 to the 5th of January, 1944. General Lieutenant Wilhelm Phillips, the 25th of May, 1944 to the 1st of January, 1945. General Major Wilhelm Soff, the 1st of January, 1945 to the 19th of April, 1945. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal and Patreon in the description box below.